The best sides always find a way to win, no matter how poorly they might have played, and Manchester United did just that again in midweek. United's passage to the FA Cup quarter-finals might not have been pretty, but it didn't matter as they made their difference in quality count with a late rally to beat West Ham. It has been a common theme this season that United have managed to win when they have not been at their best. There is an obvious concern over the lackluster nature of some performances, but it has become such a regular habit to turn these games into wins that it hardly feels like a problem anymore. United's win in midweek was headlined by their late flurry of goals, in particular Alejandro Garnacho's stunning strike, but just as crucial in the match was the contribution of David De Gea at the other end. The Spaniard could have done little more about West Ham's controversial opening goal, but he played a key role in ensuring the scoreline was never more than one, providing United with the hope of always getting back into the match. In particular, De Gea produced two brilliant stops to deny Mikhail Antonio that showcased him at his very best. The 32-year-old is often criticized for his reluctance to run off his line and isn't viewed as a goalkeeper aligned with the modern trends of being comfortable in possession. This proved to be the case, with Eric Ten Hag visibly angered at his poor distribution in the match, but what can't be denied is De Gea's immense shot-stopping ability. Part of the reason why the Spaniard is reluctant to race off his line is because he is so good at saving long-range one-on-ones, when a player is through on goal from distance and has a lot of time to think about what they want to do. John Harrison, who is the head of data science for Goalkeeper.com, highlighted that on social media this week by breaking down De Gea's first stop from Antonio and the understated brilliance of his role in a missed opportunity. Antonio beat the United backline and raced through on goal from 40 yards out, but he didn't really know what to do when De Gea stayed rooted to the six-yard box and opted against charging down the ball. Harrison says if De Gea had rushed out, he would have turned a 38% goal probability chance into a 61% goal probability chance because the West Ham forward could have easily rounded or chipped him. By waiting, the United goalkeeper delayed Antonio into making a decision and pounced when the striker was close enough for him to have a much better chance of saving the ball. De Gea not only raced off his line to capitalize on a loose touch, but he got his body in the perfect position to stop a shot by staying tall to minimize the chance of being lobbed and closing his legs so that the ball had to be bent around him to go in. West Ham supporters were quick to berate Antonio for the wasted chance, which is understandable, but credit must also go to the goalkeeper for making it look like a routine stop. The United goalkeeper also stood tall later on in the game when he denied the forward again just after the hour mark, waiting until the last moment as the forward raced at goal in order to force him into making a decision. De Gea not only had the sharp reflexes to stick out his left hand and prevent the ball from hitting the back of the net, but he also had the awareness to stay calm and not make any rash decisions. A lot of that comes down to the confidence instilled in the keeper by the manager, with Ten Hag a huge admirer of his talents and his extraordinary ability as a shot stopper. There is still room for improvement in other areas of his game, but when it comes to the bottom line of keeping the ball out of the net, it is hard to see how United will ever find anyone better than De Gea. It is particularly important heading into this summer, when signing a new goalkeeper will be under consideration and United look at what type of player they want. They could face an impossible challenge getting any better than they already have, 